What is going on everybody? I'm Valentino with Next Gen Speed and today we've got another video for you guys which is another cosmetic mod for the Chevy Camaro or pretty much any vehicle. So these are some new parts we just got in which are some diamond stitch interior mats. All right, now these mats are especially custom fitted for a Chevy Camaro, but you get them fitted for any type of car you need. As you can see, they pretty much surround the entire interior of the floor with a nice diamond stitch mat design. There's a nice blue stitching in there. We also have the red available too, which I have right down here. You can see same design as before, just different red stitching. We can also get different matte designs, like a beige, brown, purple, stuff like that. So I'm gonna check out our website for more information, but I think these installed in the Chevy Camaro we have. You can see this is the passenger side right here, the driver's side right here. And there's made to make your car pop out a lot more. It just adds some luxury styling to it, so it's not just a basic old Chevy Camaro anymore, but. About to head into the garage, get these installed real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, guys, so we got the next gen Speed Camaro right here. Got all cleaned up inside, took the floor mats out, decking it up a little bit. I'm about to get these installed, but now you just want to locate the driver's side mat, which include this little floor piece right here to keep it from getting dirty. Just want to take them out, open it up, get these little tabs ready to get them installed. And you just want to layer down inside the car. Kind of gonna stuff her inside real quick. Just line her up. You just want to take this piece, make sure to push it behind the brake pedal first to get that around it. And I'm gonna stuff that over there on that side. And then once you get that pushed in from the front, you want to push down the center piece. Try to line her up as best as you can. This is pretty much in there so far. I just want to take this little piece right here, stuff it down, to go around the seat. And she's almost good to go, guys. It's a pretty easy install. I'd say it's about a two out of ten. It's already looking better so far. Once you get it placed inside, you just want to see these little clips on the side. These are going to be tucked under the floorboard right here. So that's all you want to do is just stuff that in. And then bring it up. You guys have a better view of that. So I'm going to take this little piece right here. Just going to stuff it in under the floorboard. This little uh, pillar trim piece. You just want to bring it up and then push her up. You want to do that across each side, everywhere you see this little, uh, we see this button piece. Just like that. Nice and secure now. Got one more on this side. And we're good to go on this side, guys. So, pretty easy so far. Here it kind of just tucks in below the console. Back here, you just want to push it in. Make sure nothing is blocking your brake pedal. Then we're gonna go over here. We see this little clip. We're gonna stuff it behind this little console piece right here. Just like that. About two more to go over here. Just gonna stuff her in. And then bring her up, guys. <laughs> this is probably the hardest part of doing this right here. Is getting this little piece behind the seat. You kinda gotta stuff your fingers in there. And she's fully in on one side, guys. As you guys can see, it looks a lot better than before. 
This little piece is kind of not tucked that well, but I can just tuck that behind the floorboard a little bit, make sure it's nice and secure. But overall, it's a great fit. Nothing moving around, even when I tried to. So it looks awesome, guys. And that's interior mod to make sure your car looks a lot more luxury and just makes it stand out a lot more. But let's get down the other side. Now we have this side installed. We're gonna get the back mats installed real quick on the driver's side. Just gonna pull up the seat and get it going. back I'm just gonna lay the mat in so you just want to layer in like that stuff this piece around the seat just like that you want to do the same thing as before just push these clips into the side panels Make sure it's nice and clipped Stuff these under the seat for now. And then the same thing with the clips over here. Just want to push these down, make sure they wrap around the seat trims. If you don't want anything binding up. She's pretty much good to go so far and just makes it stand out a lot more. But let's get down the other side. So now we're on that passenger side and we're gonna complete the same process as before. This side, we're just gonna start from the back one. Just don't have to worry about scrunching up the floor mat, trying to do the front before the back one. So we're gonna do the same process as before. Just line it up, push the clips in, add the new clips on here and stuff under the seat and we're good to go on the back side. Back is officially in, now time for the front. Interior is matching great, guys. We got in the back, we'll back here. Even though I know nobody ever sitting back here, you just put down the seat to make my car louder. But looks nice. So if you want the hookup? Please visit the link in the description below. I have links for the Camaro and for any car you want. So just head over to nextgenspeed.com and we'll hook you guys up for sure. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. A bird fucking shit on my car, so gotta clean that up, but. Like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.